This is Brad, the kitchen guy. And I am so sorry I have not been around for three weeks or four weeks. I had pneumonia and we have not been able to film. Fourth of July is coming up. My personal favorite, favorite time of year. We break out the grills. We make hot dogs, hamburgers. And yes, there is an obscene amount of ingredients. There is probably 30 ingredients here for the hot dog chili. Can you go to the Mega Mart and buy hot dog chili? Yes, you can. It will 100% not taste like anything I will eat or anything that they will pay me for. You do not listen to my channel to have mediocre food, do you? You want the best food you have ever eaten. You know it's easy, it's fast, and we know how to cook it. And most of this you already have in your pantry. So you're not gonna go out and buy anything new. The only thing you're gonna buy is some more ground beef, a little bit of sausage. We all have onions and we all have bacon, right? Bacon first, because we love the flavor of the bacon and the bacon fat. And then we're gonna saute our onions in. And yeah, there's about five, six pieces of bacon in here, probably a quarter pound. Now we're gonna take this off and here, big word, we're gonna reserve this, which means we've cooked it and we're waiting to put it back in the food. There is the bacon. Onions are next. Now, you can saute, you can clarify, or you can caramelize the onions. I really like caramelization. What caramelization is, they turn from white to brown, and all the sugars come out and they taste sweet, And it takes three to five minutes to brown the onion. Now, everybody asks about cost per serving. That wonderful can of 86 cents, which will feed three people, is the same cost or more versus what we fix here. It is cheaper, less expensive, to take the ingredients and cook it yourself, to, to, rather than to buy the pre-mades. It tastes better, it is better for you. Now look at this, look at that. You can see how the brownness is starting to come. The leftover bacon is crisping, and oh my God, you have no idea how good that tastes. That is fabulous. See how it looked before? See how it looks after? We're going to do what? We're reserving them because we got to do the sausage in the ground beef. Next into the pan is sausage. I like sausage in my chili. You don't have to add it. It's just something that brings it to the next level. And you guys are about to ask me, well, how do you get that beautiful smoky flavor in? I can tell you right now. I go out and buy the cheapest bourbon I can. I add it to my sauce that how they char the barrels and slowly the alcohol brings it in. See all that color? We'll go into the food and as we're cooking it, all the alcohol comes off and that smoky flavor stays. It is not artificial. It is beautiful and wonderful. Look at that. All nicely brown and cooked. We're going to take that back off and reserve that and start browning our ground beef. Now notice I have not taken any of the oil out of the pan. We're building layers of flavor. Ground beef. About a pound, pound and a half.
Oh, look at that. Look at that. See how that's brown right there? That's what you're looking for. That's flavor. Because tomato paste is condensed tomatoes and it has a very sharp bitter bite and until you saute it, it does not go away. And if you watch, you can see it happening. See the, how the oil around here is changing color? That's the tomato paste releasing and changing. And then you're going to say, well, what are we going to do next? You're going to add the diced tomatoes. Same reason. The diced tomatoes, even though these are fire roasted, and I, I really appreciate the extra time and energy the, they put into that. Look at the color difference. Can you see it? The deep, dark red here versus the bright red. That is sautéed, cooked, and matured versus, yeah, it got flashed. And no, don't worry about the fat and the oil. We're doing hot dog chili. We're doing hamburger chili. This is not the vegetarian meal. We're not eating this every day. This is for fat means flavor, and we're doing this once a month. It will not hurt you. If you do it every day, yeah, you're right. We're going to have to get rid of the fat. But look, it's been, what, 30 seconds, 45 seconds? See how those diced tomatoes have changed from a bright red to, to a deep red? They're now cooked. They now taste different. They are now wonderful and sweet, and the pH has changed. And now we start making chili. Ground beef, sausage, onions, bacon. Mm -mm. Oh, that's starting to look like something. And now we start on the secret ingredients. Beer! Not any beer, Guinness, dark beer. Flavor from the cast, same as the flavor from over there. We're bringing in that smokiness. About a half a can of beer. Bourbon. Now, I hear a lot of people, I don't drink any alcohol, I don't want this, I don't want that. The alcohol burns off. Now, things that happen before the alcohol burns off are amazing inside there. Things you cannot replicate without it. But look at that, it's starting to look like something. It's starting to look like chili to you? It's starting to look like chili to me. And what's chili supposed to take like? Beef. And what do we have? Beef broth, about a half a cup, a little more, a little less. Simmer it down, and I like mine sweet. Brown sugar with molasses in it. And I'm gonna get, well, how much did you put in? Let's just say about a quarter cup. And my God, you can't make anything without garlic. Three cloves, finely chopped. W sauce, Worcestershire, Worcestershire, Worcestershire sauce. That place up in Boston, a little paprika. Add a little heat. And if you can, get the chipotle style sweet. If not, regular is okay. A couple of shakes, teaspoon, a little more, a little less. Cumin adds an earthy flavor. And this is one of those spices you gotta be careful with. You add too much, it'll taste like dirt. And you'll know if you miss it in your chili, you'll go, there's something missing. Chipotle dark chili powder. A little spice on it. It will not turn it into a oriental meal, but you will know the difference. Half a teaspoon. 
And what we're going to do now is simmer that down. So she's good to go. We have made your chili. It is fabulous. It is waiting for the star of the show. And what is that? The hot dog. We're going to give him a little slice. Roll him. Give him a little another slice. Roll him. And that way we have places for all that chili and spice to go into. Then we're going to throw them on the flat top, aren't we? You cannot have a good chili dog if the chili runs through the bun. If it comes out the bottom, it ain't no good. So what do you do? You grill the buns. And in order to grill the buns, you can butter them or mayo. Oh, look at that, look at that, look at that. We're about to plate. I can feel plating coming. And you cook both sides of the buns. Don't cook one side. Chili cheese dogs. Happy 4th of July. Serve this to your guests. They will be amazed. And now we do the taste test. It's going to be good for me. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Really good. This is really, really good. Now, there are no peppers. None. No pepper. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There's tomato. There's onions. Paprika, chili powder. Sausage. Ground beef. Bacon. Bacon. Mm. Mm. Mm hmm. It is, you could have second lunch, trust me. Could she have a second lunch, John? Yeah. Would she be happy with second lunch? Mm -hmm. I, I had lunch. Mm -hmm. I didn't have lunch and it is fabulous. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I have guys who do nothing but take the hot dog bun and take the chili and smear it across. Skip the hot dog altogether. I could do that. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. That guy's going, I want another. I can see it. There you go. Mm-hmm. It's a great book. Quieres? Mm-hmm. Un poco. Tell me what you taste. Or like any flavors of the mm -hmm. specific flavor. I'm getting like a like I'm loving the texture of like the contrast of the bun. The crunch the crunch mm -hmm. of it, as well as like kind of the uh, softer textures inside I think they're mm -hmm. I'm getting a lot of hot sauce right now. Too much. Got a little generous with the hot. Mm-hmm. Ese es perfecto. Mm-hmm. Uh, mm -hmm. Carries mas. I don't want to feed. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't want to feed nothing. It seems like it's, it's too good for order. The chili, the hot dog, the bun, the queso, 
es perfecto. It's sweet. Yeah. A little bit of heat. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm picking up the sweetness. Mm -hmm. It's not like super, uh, like super forward on the tongues here, not just like lightning. Yeah, it's not mm -hmm. that sweet. It's not overpowered. It's not like. Mm -hmm. Quiero like más. Like Muchos más. No, just one more. Is that one more. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to be abused. Right? <laughs> El Puerco. <laughs> yeah. Gordo. Yeah, 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 I, 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 uh, yeah, I need to go to go some way, but <laughs> it's Italian. I'm going to play the class. Mm -hmm. awesome. mm -hmm. Call up, show up, like, subscribe. Come, you too can be the Sample Test Kitchen. Brad at Brad's Home Center, 397-5432, Brad the Kitchen Guy. Thank you, come again.